And now to present for this award, set and costume designer for, uh, sir, set and costume designer, Jennifer Zile. Now, Jennifer could not be with us tonight as she is in New York for a show. However, our cameras caught up with her, and while she admires the work of our 2020 winner, Miss Perscucci, Jennifer wanted to talk about another 2020 nominee. I want to talk about Jean-Paul Gaultier. Done. Bum. <laughs> He's a bum. <laughs> Tour stuff, and he really, um, it really makes people look um, a little dangerous and very sexy. While what he mostly does is couture fashion, um, you know, he's not afraid to design for Target, which is which is kind of stunning to me because that actually that actually says because I probably buy most of my I probably bought this at Target. Um, I, it, it means that it, it's actually important. I mean, he's probably not doing it because he really needs the money of a contract with Target. Like, you know, three dresses for Madonna and a Target contract probably save money. Um, uh, it, it means that uh, he also is interested in accessibility, which is um, something I really, really admire. Well, The Cook, The Thief, The Wife, and Her Lover um, was really, came into my life when I was um, pretty under, under impressed with uh, film. I actually probably saw it about 10 years late. Really struck me. In, in the, it's obviously a very theatrical uh, movie, and it's and it's got a, it's it's a design staff are all people who do also work in theater, and that sense of heightened reality. You start the movie with like an albino uh, castrato boy singing an aria in a kitchen, you know, with a shirtless cook. And everything's green, and it's all vegetables and things, and there's a green cast to everything, these super high windows, um, a green accents, everything's influenced by green, and, and you follow this group of people into a dining room, and all of their costumes are changed. The dining room is absolutely red. And just the, just the complete, like, Machiavellian use of color in this movie that's just like, we're not even gonna, you know what I mean? Like, we're making living paintings. And the fact that Greenaway was trained as a painter and not as a director is like reeks, his work just reeks of it. And then you go into the bathroom and everything's white. And it's the same dress in each of these scenes. And uh, and it's never even talked about. I really hate it when performance acknowledges an extreme design choice. And that's something that this film really, 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 I mean, the acting is so vicious and naturalistic. Um, and the acting really isn't stylized, I would say, at all. But the environment around them is so heightened and so controlled. Um, and it's not like, you know, you, you follow them into the bathroom and they're like, whoa, my outfit's white, you know? I would say this film gave, I felt, gave me permission to really fuck with stuff. <laughs> to really, to really conceive environments that are are so um, so so compelling and so evocative and so unliteral um, that actually are commenting on the emotional space of the play as opposed to um, as opposed to the what's written on the page. 